Hi, this is Asha. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the lunge stop, power stop, and power slide. What are the differences, advantages, and how to learn them? So the inspiration for this video was Tiago Inline Skater's video comparing the power stop and the power slide. So I've just added the lunge stop because I think it's an important trio. So I think it's really important that you learn these, um, these stops kind of at the same time, yeah? So I'm going to talk you through the lunge stop. So it comes from the lunge turn. So in this position, you're going to have about 70% on your front skate, a lot less, 30% on your other skate. You're going to lean forward. So your front skate's on an outside edge. And as you make this tight turn, which you make by rotating your upper body really fast, yeah? Once you get almost 180 degrees around, that's when you change your weight to the other skate. Okay, so in sort of slow motion, to change the weight at the end okay and that way your weight's going from here all the way to here into the floor so the lunge stop is actually a very very tight lunge turn and the diameter needs to be about a meter to a meter and a half maximum if you make the small tight turn you should stop so notice the upper body rotation. My left arm is rotating very fast to face the other way. That's what creates the tightness. Notice in the lunge stop how most of my weight is on the front skate and I'm really leaning forwards. This helps to tighten up the turn and make you stop. In the lunge stop, your weight begins on the front skate, the one on the inside of the circle. But at the end of the stop, you transfer your weight to the outside skate. This sideways transfer of weight is how you end up stopping. Okay, so now the power stop. So it begins like a lunge turn, okay? So you've got the lunge turn coming in here and it's gonna go maximum 90 degrees, yeah? You're not gonna keep turning into the turn, okay? So again, the left arm is gonna make that big rotation. So you're gonna rotate, and then it's gonna do this check movement, this counter body rotation, which stops you fully making, stops you making it a lunge stop, okay? So in this position, your weight's gonna be more 50-50, and you want your head to be going that way for the power stop, okay? So again, watch the left arm, this is the secret. Rotate, check, yeah? Super bent knees, corresponding edges, leaning that way. Now the reason why the power stop is the prerequisite for the parallel slide or the hockey stop is because once you've got the power stop, all you need to do is to make it fluent and then slowly start to increase your speed and you'll hit the power stop and then you'll start sliding. Okay, so power stop, absolutely prereq for parallel turn. Parallel stops. So the power stop is actually a more aggressive and abrupt lunge stop. Notice how the upper body rotates into the turn and then halfway through you counter rotate the other way. Notice how my left arm goes into the circle like the lunge stop, but then it cuts back. That's what stops you making too much of a turn in the power stop. In the power stop, notice how my upper body rotation is faster than in the lunge stop. My left arm really comes around quickly and then checks back at the end. That's what stops the power stop becoming the lunge stop. So the power stop, like the lunge stop, has corresponding edges. You really want to have your weight beginning more on the front skate and then halfway through it becomes more or less equal, 50-50. My body weight should be a little bit more over to the right. And the lunge turn entry into power slide. Again, begins like a lunge turn. Rotate in, belly leaning down towards thigh, yeah? And around halfway through the, power, the lunge turn, you're going to flip the heel, yeah? So flipping that heel takes this skate from forwards to backwards, and then you're down into your power slide. 80, 20, yeah, and get your belly touching or close to your thigh. The power slide begins like a lunge stop. So you've got the lunge turn onto the right foot, and then the right foot does a pivot through about 90 degrees on the toe so that it starts rolling backwards, and the other skate starts to slide. By leaning forwards in the body, I guarantee that I get this 80-20 weight distribution and I slide as long as I need to stop. So your power slide that's gonna end standing up at the end, you've gotta really time that properly. So you wanna slide here, get rid of 50% of your speed. And as you stand up, notice that the angle of your sliding skate becomes more upright. That's what's gonna stop it sliding. Now you don't wanna do that movement too early.
let's talk about advantages and disadvantages because um, there are some. Lunge stop, you are gonna use at lower speeds, yeah? At a certain high speed, if you do a lunge stop, um, your feet will stop and you will carry on, okay? So lunge stop has a particular kind of medium speed limit to it. Um, the next one in terms of speed would be power stop, yeah? Um, and then power slide. So the reason I'm generally 98% of the time I use the power slide to stop is because I'm going really fast. I've got three wheels, I like a bit of speed, and I want to stop super quickly, and the power slide is the way to do that. I noticed that I really liked in Tiago's video where he's comparing the power slide and the power stop. He does both of them, he measures the distance with cone, and he concludes that the power stop stops him quicker. But he also, and I noticed this, and so did he, um, he was going slower for the power stop. So the point is, very often our speed is what will decide which stop, which stopping method we're going to use. Yeah, you can't do the power stop mega fast. Even Bill Stoppard, who kind of invented it, he always goes T drag power stop. He doesn't just go accelerate power stop. Yeah. So you really need to kind of know which are your which are your best stopping methods at which speeds, yeah? So I hope this video helped and you're on your way to much better stops. If you'd like some more help from me on the lunge turn, which is basically the prerequisite for all of those, I have a free lunge turn lesson and I'll put the link below this video. So grab that immediately. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Ooh.